I guess that's how you make a TikTok. <laughs> Hey folks, and welcome to a beautiful Monday morning here in Bang Sen. Just out for a morning ride. This this place over here to my left, I'm going to have to go in there sometime. It's a kind of a brand new coffee shop that sits right on the sea. It looks nice. But like I said, it's a Monday morning. It's a quiet Monday morning, unlike the weekend that just passed where I had four house guests, a V and two of her friends, and one of the friends had a daughter. So all in total, five people. And... They had never been to, to Bang Sen before, and they don't get to the beach much, and they wanted to look around and see the sights and explore the town a little bit, so we took them out, and don't worry, I brought my camera along, and we'll go out and follow them around and show you everywhere we went and what we did, and we'll have a, a little bit of a weekend full of frivolity here. Uh, I guess let's just jump into it, and we'll see where we went and what we did. So today's Saturday, end of June, and got a little bit of a full house. B, B has brought two friends, and then one of the friends has a daughter. So three people in total. Uh, they've never been to Bang Sen. They live up in Isan. Never been to Bang Sen, so they don't get much beach. They don't get much seafood. That kind of, that sort of thing. So, we're gonna show them around Bang Sen. Now, I obviously can't put four of them, plus myself, on the bike. So, we're relegated to foot. So, we're, everywhere we go, everywhere we'll go, we gotta, we gotta walk it. Which is good because where I live, there's plenty of places we can walk to and they can have a good time. They can go to the beach, all the seafood restaurants, um, the, 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 the food stalls, this is only two minutes away. So yeah, we'll show them around this weekend. And I think Monday they all go back. So, and then I go somewhere else. But that'll be another video. But anyway, we'll have a good time and show them around Bang Sen and take you guys along. So this is how uh, you walk to the beach if um, you want to stay out of the sun, I guess. <laughs> yeah. Th th that's a thing. Um, they want to go to the beach, but they don't want to be in the sun. So, we'll just use that uh, shawl or whatever it is. I don't know. Almost like a sor sarong. Keep the sun off of them. It's the simple things, I guess. So we made it to the beach. Then, uh, this is how they do it. Fiesta, fiesta, ani, gang, gang, ani, we, ani, should I? Ani, ani, on, on, there. We got some tom shrimp. We got some beverages and some vegetables, and we'll just sit here in the shade under the trees.
sit out here and have a little feast. I was going to go to a restaurant later tonight, but after they eat all this, I don't know that they'll be hungry. Uh, but anyway, it's whatever they want to do. They're on holiday. We, we got a, a pretty extreme low tide today. So actually it's a good beach day. It's been sunny all day. There's some clouds rolling in from down there behind me from like Sriracha. But there's always clouds this time of year rolling in from somewhere. But it's a good low tide day. They like it much better at low tide. Opens that whole beach up. So the clouds have really rolled in. Now it looks like it's going to rain any minute. But they finished eating. And now they want to go in the sea, but I think it's going to rain. I don't mind. So yeah, you can see how quick the weather can change here. And this is fairly typical in the afternoons. It seems like a lot of times you'll get these mid-afternoon to late afternoon clouds, maybe showers, maybe storms. You can also see here, there's areas here where there's sand and there's areas where it's more like sand mixed with mud. And a lot of people think the water here isn't that clean. It really is this mud that stirs up sediment. The areas where the water is kind of still over the sand, you can see it's actually pretty clean. Like this is a sandy area here, but it's all mixed in. That's, that's kind of the other thing. Um, nobody wears a bathing suit. Very few people wear a bathing suit. Just go in kind of the everyday clothes or maybe some older clothes or shorts or whatever. Nobody really wears a bathing suit to the beach here, the locals anyway. Yeah, I'm not sure if that's more about keeping the sun off of them or about modesty, probably a combination of both. But either way, that's that's kind of the thing to do. And oh, and by the way, that's V's shoulder bag I've got around my neck, not some kind of a uh, leather chained uh, biker attire or anything like that. <laughs> I, I guess that's how you make a TikTok. In case you wanted to know. So after the little romp in the sea, and of course after lunch, we headed home due to the threatening skies. But a couple hours later, it cleared up, and they thought it would be a good idea to go up the hill and check out the monkeys. So that's where we went next. Badooling. Going to see the monkeys. They want to see the monkeys next. So we'll hike up, not up the mountain, just to, just at the foot of the mountain. There's plenty of plenty of monkeys right at the base. They can get their fill of monkeys without going too far up on the hill. So we'll go up there and and let them see, uh, let them check out the monkeys. They don't have anything for them to eat, so they may not get too warm of a reception. So yeah, I guess as we went, they'd stop along the way and rest, but all in all, they decided they wanted to walk up to the top. Now this guy right here has got a fully cooked jumbo shrimp in his hand. Wonder where he got that. He probably stole it off of a food cart somewhere. That's what they do. These food vendors have to have all the patience in the world with these monkeys. They will come and rob them blind day in and day out. But uh, we slowly meandered up the hill. The, the only problem is on the weekends, You've got all this traffic, all these people driving up here. Um, during the week, you wouldn't have that, but it just, there's not really an area to walk. There's not really a sidewalk. So you've got cars, you've got monkeys, you've got a guardrail, you've got the jungle, you've got the edge. It's a little precarious uh, walk. You can come up here in the morning and, and have the whole road to yourself, like on a weekday. But as we got close to the top, the, the monkeys became... Uh, higher in volume, I guess, and but we finally made it up. And this is where you can buy the, the bananas and that kind of stuff. So, they, they, they wanted the full treatment, so we came to the top anyway. Oh, it's just crowded coming up here on the weekends. Come up here on Tuesday, Wednesday. Somebody up here. The good part is up here. I think they'll get their full. They'll they'll, they'll definitely get their full of the monkeys. And they can buy little bananas and give them and stuff. So, 
So yeah, I generally refrain from coming up here on the weekends, but kind of had no choice in the matter here. Beautiful during the week, but made it up here, and it was even though it was busy and there was a lot of shenanigans going on, we had some had a photo. Uh, we could pose for a photo here and see the monkeys and enjoy it. And yeah, they were uh, they were out and about. They were they didn't look as hungry as usual on the weekends they get more food uh they more of them come up to you believe it or not on the weekdays uh they were kind of off by themselves here this time i guess they got their fill of bananas already so we had all that day at the beach went to see the monkeys now everybody's hungry did i mention we went swimming we got that too <laughs> Yeah, so everybody's hungry, so we've come here. This is, I've always wanted to try this place. I call it the Blue Roof, because it's basically right across the street, and I always see the Blue Roof. But I see a lot of people here, on the weekends especially, but even week, weekdays. So, get some seafood in here and see what they got good. Wow. <laughs> oh, boom. Wow. So we'll see what everybody wants and take a look at the menu here. Lots of lots of stuff to choose from. Mostly seafood though. It is a seafood restaurant. So we'll get all ordered up and then I'll show you what we got. Everybody's digging in. I better, <clears throat> I better tuck in while there's still something left. Okay, thank you. Come on. Okay. Okay, everybody. Everybody, John. John, John. John. Okay. Everybody have a good day. So yeah, Saturday was a long day. I, my day started off. Uh, down in Padia driving a super buggy around that was the last episode so that's how my day started and then you saw how it ended and then the next day Sunday was much better they, they actually wanted to leave early so a couple of little things in the morning here a little swim and they made up some uh, they made up some some tom some stuff at home we kept it close to home on Sunday and then they got off and they, they just took the bot bus and went down to Nong Mun and caught the caught the little minivan back to patio so i think they all had a good time we enjoyed having them but i wouldn't want to do it every weekend at the same time but i, I it was fun uh, it was fun to do you know once in a while but anyway nice dip in the pool here and a little snack and then they'll hit the road so that'll do it for this little full house episode if everything goes right the day that this airs, I'll be in Ko Chang. So we'll have some, at least one, maybe two videos coming up from there. And watch those because on those, at probably at the end of those or sometime during those videos, I will also post my upcoming travel schedule. So I'm about a week to 10 days away from the big Isan trip. And I'll keep you apprised of when I'm leaving, where I'm going, where I'm going to be each day uh, in that two week trip. So that schedule hopefully will come together and uh, may be available in the next episode and I'll post it in subsequent episodes uh, just in case you miss one or whatever but that's coming up so stay tuned I'm gonna leave this one off here I got a lot of stuff to do but as usual I'll thank you for watching and until next time bye for now <laughs>